Lads and ladies, so a road to glory, you know the drill. Look at this result here. I got 390 points with my in-season EPL team and I got no fucking money for that. You know, it's just a bit upsetting really, but uh, I digress, 100 managers scored higher than me. It just makes me think about the state of play right now. Like say, you know, I've had an account for years or whatever. I got a, you know, okay, account is not great, a lot of shit in there, but you know, I have a sizable account. Imagine you're just some new cunt who's like, oh, so rare, oh, they've got the EPL. Let's come on and, and build a team. Ah, oh, the players, you know, are a bit expensive. I can't get Arsenal or Man City. Let me get a Fulham stack or a West Ham stack or a Crystal Palace stack. It makes you think, what fucking chances do those people have? Because a keeper alone in limited level is going to cost them like fucking what? 20 quid for an out of season card and, you know, 30, 35 for the in season version. And then the rest of the players around them, I guess the outfielders are cheaper in comparison to that. But it's still going to be, you know, 50, 60, 70, a million quid. And then, you know, to get 390 points, uh, a decent decent score from a lot of your players. Yeah, I got my captain wrong, but to, you know, get fucking fuck all for that, except a box with a limited upgrade, that's not going to fucking mean anything to new managers. I don't know, I guess I guess that just sort of jarred me a bit this game week. But, you know, I guess Chelsea won 6-0, Villa also won 2-0 at Arsenal, that was a very good result. So, you know, City won 5-1, lots of high-scoring players in there, so, you know, these 70s all around the board cut it. Apparently not. That's uh, that's the problem here. And you know, 390 points. That's why I've been quite disillusioned with Sora recently, which is why I made another channel. That's right. I made a Royal Livy Plays channel where I'm going to play FIFA and Warzone and shit. It's, it's going to be fucking awful and I'll probably get bored of it after a month. But hey, why don't you head on over there and subscribe. The first episode's out now. It was something. Some of you were telling me to make a, like a gaming channel or some shit for some time. So I was like, fuck it. Why not? And I'll just upload when I upload. So yeah, check that out. But today is more so about my changes to the account I've made over the last few weeks in absence of the Sower Road to Glory. So we're going to look at some of that right now. Starting with my classic season Super MLS team. I finally completed it. Been trying to complete this for about a year and a half. Uh, we, we finally got there. It's uh, it's solid. It's solid. It's not great. It's solid. Uh, Matt Fries and Hugo Kuypers are two recent additions, as is uh, Jordan Shakiri actually, so I got Shakiri and Kuypers for about 0.2 Ethereum combined, the uh, Chicago Fire forwards there. Uh, they haven't been great so far this season, but if they can get firing on all cylinders, I think that's a dangerous dynamic duo there that could be useful. Uh, Capetti, not fantastic, let's be fair, and then I got the New York City uh, back line of Martins and Matt Fries in the season card. I won him on auctions for about 0.3 Ethereum, so you know, this team overall is about 0.65 Ethereum or about a grand and a half at the moment. Do I think I'm going to win this back this season or even seasons beyond? Uh, probably fucking not, honestly. It's really tough to win shit in this game recently as I've just digressed with my words from my mouth in the first part of the video. But I, I like this team. I feel like, uh, you know, an assist from Shakiri for Kuypers. Capetti can do some shit and then a, a nice clean sheet from New York. We could be rocking for some decent cards, you know, a couple of times a season. That's sort of the aim here. So that's where a lot of the recent outlay of my Ethereum has gone towards. And I've also then bought an in-season limited MLS team. Was that smart? Probably fucking not, but uh, I fucking went for it. And I thought, fuck this stacking nonsense. I'm just gonna get some good fucking players from across different teams. And we're gonna fucking see what sticks. And I've kept my classic season Martin Piss in there. I thought I could have got a, uh, you know, Kristen Kalina in-season card here if I wanted to, but I didn't think it was necessary right now with what I had in my account. And then I've gone for some strong players outfield in Wagner, Mukhtar, Rossi, and Lucho Acosta. Now, is this a world-beating team in the MLS? Uh, certainly not. Mukhtar and Diego Rossi have had indifferent starts to the season. Uh, I don't think Mukhtar scored yet, and Rossi has been a bit hit and miss so far. But uh, again, if they can get scoring like we know they can, then I think this is a very strong team that should be pushing towards some Tier 2s, Tier 1s. Uh, you know, tier zeros. If it's in season, I'll be going for that cold hard cash money. That's the dream. Like, is it maybe a hundred quid team. Uh, will I get that back uh, across the rest of the season? Maybe, might be close, uh, but then I'll still have the cards in my account either way, right? So I'm quite happy with this one. And then I've also completed my La Liga rare team. And when I say completed, not really. Uh, Gaia is sort of just a stopgap card there. Uh, he was less than 0.01 Ethereum. That's kind of madness in today's day and age. Uh, you know, his, his scores aren't fantastic, but he's capable of hitting those uh, upper 60s, upper 70s from time to time if he gets fit again for next season. Obviously, he's injured right now, but this is more of a view for next season. Uh, happy with Yano Black, best keeper on the planet. Uh, no qualms about that. And then Araujo and Tushameni. 
Uh, their form has dropped significantly pretty much since I signed them, actually. So the Royal of Icarus in full effect there. You know, I, I know they've had Champions League, Barca, Madrid. They've been switching stuff around. Tuchemeni's been filling in in defence for uh, Real Madrid. Well, they've had injuries, so yeah, I'm not going to put too much stock into it. And we're going to go again next season with this classic team. Uh, I think the question is, where is Jao Felix going to be? I'm not sure if he's got another year on loan at Barca or if he's going to head back to Atletico or maybe PSG come in with a bid for him to replace Mbappe. You know, he, he could end up anywhere. So... And then I'll show you my Excel document. Everyone loves Excel documents. We have some expendable players here on the right uh, that we just don't need. But for the most part, I've sort of aligned all of my teams as I want them. Uh, obviously, i got my two EPL teams, my Everton stack and my Fulham stack. Am I really comfortable putting them in the EPL competitions every week? Uh, I mean, I guess so. I, I could put one of them in champion, for instance. Uh, I really don't think these teams are going to push for the rewards most of the time, a couple, couple of times a season, maybe. And I thought if I'm going to buy an EPL limited team to go my number one slot, it's, it's going to have to be one of the big four or five, six teams, right? And I just don't fancy putting that outlay into the account right now. Uh, I've got other priorities and plans, for instance, such as a Bundesliga limited team we can see here. Uh, I was, I was going to mix and match it at first, and then I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to go full Bayern Munich, ready for next season. That'll be an in-season team when the new cards roll out next uh, next fucking season i guess yeah, that makes a lot of sense that's about 0 0.1 ethereum right there alone on outfielders right kane 0 0.04 musiala 0 0.03 and then sani and deluxe probably another 0 0.03 to 0 0.04 or whatever and that's not including the keeper so that's gonna be expensive and i don't have any ethereum left in my account right now and i don't plan on putting any in so i need to win rewards with what i have you know that super rare team i just showed you the uh, mls in season team we can see them here on the document as well. Uh, I've also then got a Wolfsburg team, right? Which is in the third slot because they're fucking dog shit. Cohen Castils is leaving the club as well. So I don't even think Pavo Purban's going to be their number one keeper next season. I'm sure they'll sign someone, but that's just there to have in case I need it. A couple of backup players there as well. Obviously then in La Liga, right? I've got that rare team I just showed you, but I also want to get an in-season team next season. It's going to be a back free or including the midfielder of uh, Las Palmas players I think right now that's about 0 0.06 to 0 0.07 Ethereum for those three obviously in-season cards will spike in price it'll probably be closer to 0 0.2 Ethereum for the whole team when I'm done I've got the uh, two Atletico Bilbao forwards up there not sure if Nico Williams stays at Bilbao but we will see uh, you know subject to change and all of that shit champion my creme de la creme team it's the Inter Milan stack Bastoni, Chavonoglu, Turin and Martinez with new signing Unai Simon in goal. Now, I wanted Unai Simon mostly for the Euros, but then I also don't really want to use him in La Liga. I thought, I want a strong keeper with this Inter Milan stack. Yeah, I could have got Jan Sommer, the uh, Mucha and Gladbach version, right? But he's getting on a bit in age. There's a bit less utility there. And I just thought, fuck it, I'm going to get Unai Simon. We're going to lock him in here. There's no need to have to stack every fucking lineup, right? Uh, I am stacking the one below, though. That's just pure Leon. Hopefully, they have a better season next year. If we go to Challenger, uh, it's, it's very MLS heavy, except for the bottom team, right? It's my Burnley team. And you might be thinking, Royal Livy, they're an EPL team. They're a champion team. Fuck no. They're getting fucking relegated. I'm going to put my fucking money on that. And uh, I'm sort of set for next season with them, assuming they keep, you know, a good spine in the team from the Premier League. Hoping they do. Uh, I need to get Murich just in case there's some goalkeeper shenanigans, but I'm pretty confident that team should be doing quite well in the championship and competing in Challenger. I've then obviously got my uh, my old out-of-season MLS lads, uh, the Austin and Philadelphia combination. Gazdag, Carranza, Drusi, some very strong players there, and we can see Drusi over here on the right as well in Challenger, uh, a rare team there. Not fantastic. It was more of a team I made for Cap 240 rare, and it swapped just now come along to be a challenger team which is why i've not put it in my top slot because it's just not fantastic but it's not awful should pick up a reward every now and then once in a blue 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 moon and then some backups below it's, it's sad to call zian fleming a backup but that's what he is right now kind of hoping he leaves millwall in the summer right and finds a new team that would that would be ideal and then contender is where i also want to splash some more cash because i've got zelenika of varasdin in the croatian league but I then also want to get some strong outfield players in Barbet, Colombato, Fitz and Cabal. Again, just from all fucking over the shop. I'm not here to stack. I'm going to buy some random as fuck players and see what fucking sticks to the ceiling. Because yeah, it's not been going great for my account right now, stacking everything. So we're going to try this. And then the final team, the SD Ibar team. Uh, they're second in the league right now in La Liga 2. So if they get promoted, they become a champion or La Liga team. So, you know, i got a spare spot in La Liga. They could easily fill in, you know, in the third spot there. But... Let's be realistic, SD Ibra will probably get fucking battered in the Liga, so I'm hoping they don't get promoted. 
and they stay in La Liga 2 for that contender spot. If not, I'll have to buy another team there, but we can deal with that shit when the bridge crosses the summer in the new season. Cross that bridge when it... Bridge. <clears throat> uh, this is the account. Still not fantastic, right? But I'm glad I I've shaped it a bit more. It was all a bit all over the place recently, so I'm glad I've got a bit of fucking fucking game plan going on here we're not just fucking flying on the seat of the fucking plane against the sun like icarus we're, we're doing shit normally nothing normal about what i'm saying right now but you, you get the picture we've got a bit of a we got a bit of a mm, a bit of mm to it you know so hopefully these teams can do well and we'll finish off today with the results of the march giveaway 25 pounds up for grabs it was ixv fc 20 and I won 16 out of 20 matches. I was very close to not having to give any money away or only having to give some away. The problem is, I had a fucking DNP in my team, which is mad because I checked the lineups as they came out and I picked him. And then I had to go do other shit because I'm so cool and popular. And then when I came back, I found out fucking, fucking Hilson got injured in the warm up and I had no idea. So I played the whole thing a man down and still beat 16 out of 20 of you fuckers. So you're all fucking dog shit. Uh, but I do have to give away something to the winners here so size 7 beat me dv polini beat me nikki six crew beat me and yr1126 beat me by a long way so let's stop fucking dosing around let's do the wheel spin uh so one of you four is gonna win fuck all and i think that's you know a bit of shard and fruit right there that's quite funny if the odds are that against you i think that's fucking hilarious but this first one is for 12 pound 50 worth of shit let's see who's gonna win the shit nikki six crew congratulations I'm winning £12.50. Don't spend it all at once or spend it all at once if you want. It's your life, your money, your fun, your time. And let's do the next spin. Uh, it'd be quite funny if the guy who got 450 points doesn't get a reward here, which he's not this time either. So this is for £7.50. DV Pellini. Congratulations. Well done. Uh, so yeah, fuck it. He's getting £7.50. And for a fiver, a 50-50 shot at a fiver, the guy who beat me by a point and the guy who beat me by 150 points I'm rooting for Sai just for the fun of it. That's fucking, that's fucking hilarious. You know what? It's YR1126's fault for using limiteds, right? I think that's karma. You get what you get. Uh, but congratulations to the winner. I, I'm, I'm kidding. YR1126 is unlucky. It's unfortunate for you. Maybe next time. But if you missed this giveaway, you should subscribe to stick around for the next one. Because looking at April, I'm already having to give away £12. And we're only halfway through the fucking month. So uh, it's probably going to be another 20 to 25 quid giveaway. So... Uh, you'll have to check out the videos to see how to enter those, and I'll catch you next time, because I fucking love you.